Hi, I'm Evan Suma from the USC Institute for Creative Technologies, and today we're going to show you how we control off-the-shelf computer games using the Microsoft Kinect sensor. Our software framework, the Flexible Action and Articulated Skeleton Toolkit, also known as FAST, simulates virtual keyboard events based on body pose and gesture detected using the Microsoft Kinect sensor. FAST is free software that can be downloaded on our website. FAST can be configured with a variety of body-based control mechanisms depending on the specific game. In this video, the user plays World of Warcraft by leaning the body forwards and backwards to move the character. To turn the camera, the user moves the left hand side to side. The user moves the left hand forward in a grabbing motion to target an enemy. Then different attack spells can be triggered by moving the right hand in different directions. Despite the fact that our current gesture set is fairly simple, gameplay was surprisingly fun. Future versions of FAST will support a wider variety of gestures, which will enable more sophisticated game interactions. I think the real compelling aspect of all this is that you can now take off-the-shelf games, content that's already been built, and emulate the keyboard actions with body movement. This opens up the doorway for building rehabilitation exercises for people after a stroke or traumatic brain injury and in an area that's getting a lot of attention, the area of childhood obesity and diabetes. This is a major area that people in the United States need to develop new ways to get kids up and moving around. So not just sitting planted playing uh, with a game pad all the time. you got a kid who's um, interacting with uh, World of Warcraft for six hours a day. Perhaps a parent can step in and say, hey, all right, for one hour of that time, you got to do it with the the Kinect or the Prime Sense camera, and you got to exercise while you're doing it. So instead of using a thumb controller to move your character, you got to run in place, and you got to use arm gestures, and you actually build into the application a way for a kid to physically engage with digital content like a game. And in fact, they may come to like that better. They might start to feel more embodied in their interaction. If that happens. That could have a revolution uh, in, in weight reduction, reducing childhood obesity, which may reduce the ultimate incidence of diabetes, and just open up a whole new world for gaming that's healthy gaming. 